Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to quickly show you how to launch your own website like I have, a one-page website in five minutes. Literally, this is really cool, really quick. I've been going through my stats on my website and where I'm sending people for training and I realise I'm spending a lot of money on website hosting and I don't need a I don't need a website. I don't get enough people visiting my website for it to really justify paying twenty dollars a month for decent hosting and sharing. Um and I want to show you quickly how you can do I say one page but you can look at I've got an about me section that is another page but it's actually all on the same page. It's just you point it to different pages, right? And then obviously I've got links to my YouTube. So the main thing I do online uh, um, publicly is YouTube videos. Obviously you're watching one now. Everything else I do is private private work. So I don't have a lot of um, need to be sharing a lot of information. So just this card website is all that I need for people to see my links, see my blog. So I, I blog via Medium. So all my blog posts I can share on Medium. So... What I use, what I've just started using, is this website called Card, uh, Card.co. It's but it's double R, C A R R C A R R D dot co, right? And it's, I'm going to show you the nineteen dollars a year version, but you can do ten websites for that, right? So I'm just going to open my dashboard and show you. This is my website. So when when I'm, I'll, I'll just show you what my website's doing, and then I'll give you a full overview of how to launch a website. So, basic text stuff. You can change size of text. You can change settings. You know, um, divider text icons. You just basically set an icon. Oh, and then you know you you pick the icon, and then send them to what URL for mail. You just do mail to. But I'm going to show you everything buttons facebook share if you want it and then this is the section part where i break out on a, in what it looks like another page but you'll see it's all on the same page but it's really easy to do and it's really quick you can actually do this for free uh yeah i don't need to save anything you can actually do it for free on card but you would have like it, i would be paul nicholson dot card dot co it wouldn't be my website. So if you want to, um, if you want to have your own website, let's go to the plans here, right? So I've paid uh, nineteen dollars. I got a little bit of a discount, fourteen dollars. Um, renew, upgrade, right? So when you've got a, the free version, you're going to do free sites, uh, standard quality versus high quality, standard images versus large image and videos. So this one here is $19. It's not showing a price because I'm already on it. $19 a year for 10 websites. So if you've only got to use it for one, it's like a dollar and a half a month for your website hosting. Um, but you're going to get everything you're going to see in this video, right? So I've, I've sort of waffled on a little bit. I should have just dived in. I'm going to do a new website. I'm going to do it for the Happy Me website. You're going to need access to your settings, your DNS settings. To launch your website but i'm just going to launch it from scratch uh, happy-me.com so new site i'm going to choose a template what i like the look of um i might actually go with this one i think this is actually what i use for mine obviously that draws to my eyes isn't it uh, but you can pick another one if something else catches your eye you could probably start from a blank page as well it's obviously different you can select different um, options if you just want a subscriber button like this and forms well for me I'm gonna go back and use that one that I used on my website which is this one because I may leave that image uh, for it in fact it didn't show up so so it populates automatically some information for you so what I'm gonna change this to is happy me uh, I can change this to, uh, I don't know what we're going to change. What would you say? Uh, uh, no, let's do the old change is inevitable personal growth. 
is a choice. Yes, it's a Bob Proctor steeled quote, uh, but I could have I could have spent ages and not thought of anything about that. I can make it bigger so it matches that whole space. I can bold it if I want to. I don't really want to. I'm quite happy at regular. I can change the font, but I'm going to leave it as courier. I want. I don't want to drag this website this uh, out too long. I can make the divider longer if I want to go all the way across. If I want to go halfway across, I can change the information here. Welcome to the Happy Me Network. Done. I could change these icons. The Twitter. So Twitter is Happy Me Phil. I can change this Facebook to Happy Me. Oh, that's the Twitter one. Facebook. Uh, Facebook is Happy Me Philosophy. Colour done medium. This is interesting because I do have a blog at medium. So I do blog dot happy me. And that just shows the medium icon, but I may want it to be. Uh, so you can share all, you can obviously change the icon to whatever you want it to be. Vine, Vimeo. Email, message, phone, home, blah, 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 blah. what would show more? I guess people know that the M's a medium, but I was more looking for like a news article thing or something. Globe. Oh, question, apparel, calendar. There isn't really anything jumping out that would be for blog, would they find Airbnb, Bitcoin blogger? Mm, I'll leave it at that, but yeah, it's not a blogger. And then I can remove the LinkedIn because Happy Me Phil doesn't. Mail, you would do, you know, uh, info at happyme.com. If you do mail too, that opens up your mail browser, your default mail, and sends it. And done. The background, if I click on the background, I can... Uh, oh, I can it can change it for colours if you want colour. Oh, Jesus, that nearly blinded me. I can change it for a colour. I can change the gradient angle. That's where it's going to go. Change the colour. If I want to put an image, I can pick from a library, or I can upload my own picture. It's kind of freaky that one. Or I can upload. So if I upload, yeah. So that this is the same one I had on my website, but I'll change it later. Accept. So you can play to see what it'll look like as it loads. I can't. Um, I haven't seen where you can like test it live. You've almost got to publish it before you um, test it before you can test it I, but i may be wrong i don't know whether live test is i know this play button plays what it'll look like but i can't then click on things to make sure they work right so when you see a little green dot you need to save it or you need to update the publish so when i click either here or publish it's going to go to the same place so i'm going to put happy me philosophy this will be it's the uh, happy me philosophy uh, greatness in your finger tips five simple ideas for your happy me well something like that whatever you're gonna put so that's been the description that it shares when you do a share image, when you do share to Facebook or share to, this is the information underneath the title. So you're gonna put it wherever you want. Now, this is where, if you're on the free version, you've got to use this um, .card.co URL, right? Or you can not publish it as a draft. I'd be interested to see what that does. So I leave it as a draft for now, because obviously I'm tinkering. Done. Start over still. 
isn't an obvious place. This is what it's going to look like on your mobile. Uh, oh, let's go back to computer. So you also want to go here and say media share image. This is where you're going to change the favicon icon and the image. So again, this is when you share it to Facebook or Twitter. What's going to what's going to show up? So I want to just grab an image to share, whatever you want it to be, and accept it. Favicon. I have a little PNG logo, small. Uh, da, 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 da. Happy me, small. Accept, and that's what comes up. See on the Paul Nicholson up here. Publish changes. So you basically you've got a website there now. Without tinkering too far, I'm going to launch it, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to put some funky stuff in there, like I did with the about page, right? So. Uh, click on publish settings you can change it if you obviously you're in Dutch I don't know if it automatically changes it to Dutch I don't think it does you can say what your default language is you can put your, YouTube, your Google Analytics ID and some tags but I'm going to launch on a domain right so I'm, it wants to be happyme.com so then I've got to do this in my DNS settings so I've got to change the A record to point to that IP address, right? So what I do is I go to my uh, domain, wherever your domain's hosted, you go to your DNS settings. So you need to know how to get to your DNS settings. And in this one, you'll see Happy Me is parked, the A record on the root. So it's usually a space or at, or it might just be a blank, or it might be happy-me.com, it might be your domain.com, but generally it's at, me in the root domain. And all I'm going to do is either edit it or add a new one and add in that IP address. Save it. And it's going to take, you know, five or six minutes for that to take. So now that's pointed. It does say, it does say point, um, let's go back to publish. It does say point the C name www to happyme.com. You, you, in GoDaddy, you don't need to. You just put root. You just leave it, you know, your point www dot to root. Uh, if you've got other hosting, you may want to put in your domain name dot com there. So I'm not exactly sure how long it will take. So it's at this time, it's not taken yet. And it, it because Happy Me has been around in the past, it knows the HTTP. So it's jumping to it. So it's gonna take five minutes for it to take. I'll pause the video. And then when I come back, I'll show you that you're gonna have a secure website like mine. So you want it to be secure. You want the HTTPS. Uh, and, and then I'll talk you through buttons and I'll talk you through how to do the about part. Okay, so give me a minute and I will be back. Well, you won't need to, I'll be back in two, in two seconds. Right guys, so we're now live. What happens is what you'll find uh, after five or six minutes your site will be live without the secure bit and then it'll take another five minutes for the team at card to send an automatic um, encryption uh, email they basically have to bounce some sort of email to get the secure setting so it'll take five minutes you'll be up and running but without the secure bit and then five minutes later your site will become live and secure so it's took about ten minutes but now I'm live, right? I can click, it's gonna open up these buttons. Uh, that email is gonna open my Twitter. Um, I spelt it wrong, so I need to change that. Uh, it's going to, oh, click to my Facebook. And it's gonna open up the blog. <laughs> So it's basically, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's called card because it's it's like a business card, isn't it? It's here's my information, here's how to get in touch with me, here's what you need to know without being a full website, but it's costing a dollar a month. It's costing next to nothing. It's secure, it's fast. It looks cool when it loads. And you don't have to worry about it. You know, my big thing is if you're not getting people to your website but you need somewhere to say do you have a website well yeah go paulnicholson.com and you'll get my contact information you'll get everything i need you to know in a website that's just a dollar a month 
rather than me paying, I was paying $35 for WordPress engine to do a WordPress blog and I spent every, I spent more time tinkering with it than I did just doing these YouTube videos, which is what I need to concentrate on or the training site that I need to concentrate on. My actual website didn't need to be that funky. So that said, we know that this works. We know that this Twitter icon is spelt wrong. So it's, it's happy me Phil on, still spelt wrong, happy me Phil. So I know that works. I can put, you know, I, now I can get a bit funkier. So if you want to add separate sections, you're gonna add a section, you're gonna add a control. So add a control and call it about, right? Now, if I want to add a title and put about happy me philosophy done, I'm going to add a video so I can import a video. So look, there's links, there's icons. I can put an audio file. I can do a gallery. I can put a timer, you know, set a timer for December 31st. Uh, 2018. I don't know if you do zero or you do 11. I best do 11, right? I'll do 11. You never know what deer when you do a midnight if you do a thingy, right? So, uh, done. And changed it. it. Da -da -da. Okay, so let's save it. Publish it. I didn't mean to do that bit, did I? Right, so let me get back to what I was doing. So I want I want to add an about me, and you're obviously either going to add a text box about, you know, a text area, or I'm going to add a video. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I go to my videos, right? My videos. I'm just going to grab a... I'm just gonna grab a video. I could have grabbed any done too, it didn't really matter. I'm not gonna show you it on this video, but come on, YouTube. There, well, let's grab this one. Copy the link, go back, add here. I'm gonna embed what YouTube video is the paste. I'm gonna say auto play, which I'm not entirely sure works. Uh, start time is at zero, which I think, I don't know why it says one, two, three, loop. Uh, I don't want to show related videos. Uh, I don't, information I don't need to. I'm gonna make it bigger. I don't need to worry about margins and I'm gonna save that. Now what you want to do is put two buttons. You want to put a button that says go to the about page and then you want to put a button that jumps you back from the about page, right? So I'm gonna add a button I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to put uh, about happy me philosophy and here the URL is just hashtag about whatever you called that container there look see it hashtag about that's what you're going to do I'm going to change the button color I want it to be white and I want the text to be black change the text to black done so now that button's going to send me to this section and I want I need a back button right so I'm going to put another button that just says back the URL for that is hashtag home again you might want to change it to a white background and a black text whatever you want to use little green dot I need to save it publish it so everything if I've done it correctly everything below this align will not show on that main page so this bit here won't show so when I go to view site so it doesn't show but I've got this button that says about me uh, about happy me philosophy so I click on it it opens up the uh, page the time I worked looks 223 days left this year plenty of time um, video shows the happy me philosophy and the back button jumps me back to um, 
back to the home page. So it's it's now more than one page, even though it is only one page, right? I can I'm jumping about. So you might have a contact form here. You might want to put contact. You know, add another section for uh, contact. I haven't done the contact form, so this might get a bit flaky. Call it contact. Add a form. Uh, name, email, sign up. So if you want to sign up an email, uh, yeah, you can. So you can connect it to Mailchimp or Review, Review, Review. <laughs> Convert kit, mail up. So if you want to sign up, if you want to subscribe a form, you can. But we're going to do contact, uh, display message, thank you, receipt, email. I'm going to put in my email. Done. I also need a back button. Can I duplicate? There we go. I can duplicate that back button and then drop it down here. Oh, he says, come on. All right, maybe I'll just move that contact form up. So the back button works. So now I need a button here that says contact. So I'm going to add a button, contact us. URL is hashtag contact, which is that section name look, hashtag contact. Button color again, I'm going to make it white. Uh, I'm going to label it black. You're going to do whatever you need to do. Done. Little green button says I've got to save it and publish it. Okay, it. Visit site. So now I've got Happy Me Philosophy back, contact form. Let's just see if it works. Test, uh, test at michaelson.com. Oh, Hello, Paul. Submit to just say thanks with a smile, shouldn't it? Thank you with a smile. And then back. I'm not sure I've got my sound on. Tester, and there's the email. Tester, right? Tester, hello, Paul. So it did work. So you can see now how easy it is to create a website. It doesn't, it, although it is one page, it's actually more than one page, but really easy to do, really simple. A dollar a month. Um, it's a little bit more if you've got one website, but you can do 10 webs websites for $19. You know, depending on what you need to do, you could have a sales page. You could, you know, I could do, um, if I had some sort of sign up form or subscribe or some product delivery, I want to sell an ebook. I could do, you know, I could do ebook.paulnicholson.com and set up a page that is ebook and do a sales page as a website. Um, Great options, great for, you know, you need to look at your website stats. You need to see, am I crushing it on Instagram or am I crushing it on Twitter or Facebook? But I need people to say, well, here's his website, but I really want them to go to the Twitter page um, or, to the, oh, or to the Facebook. So you don't need a funky, you don't need a, an in-depth website. You just need one page that works. That you don't have to worry about that you just send send people to this and then they get all the information you need so hopefully that helps hopefully it makes sense go to card.co c-a-r-r-d.co there's a free there's a free version and there's a free seven day trial so you can do everything you need to do to get it before you even pay your 19 dollars all right any questions leave them below hope that helped cheers guys